gonna start pointing her back to town. I am gonna swing through uh, some bighorn sheep country because we have a sheep hunter here soon. Do a little glass in there and see if any of the big rams have moved into the breeding grounds yet. But I'll keep you posted. Nice morning, finally feels like actual fall. Getting cold is still only 25 degrees, so yeah. Hopefully turn something up. Well, I'm just sitting here glassing the big group of big horns. There's one small ram in there so far that I saw and I don't know, probably 30 or so use. So I don't see a big influx of rams yet, which it's a little early still. So just want to keep an eye on them and hopefully uh, the big boys will show up soon. I'm going to keep glassing around in case I miss a couple and see if I can pick out a ram. They're a little over a mile away, so it's a little tough to tell, but I'll know if I see a decent one anyhow, then I can get closer. Two young rams in with them, and I so far have not spotted any big rams, but my gut tells me they're not with them yet, but they're not far away. Typically this time of year, they move in and they'll at least hang somewhat close to the herd knowing that breeding's coming around and they'll just check every once in a while, see if any of them are in heat. And then eventually it'll go absolutely bonkers. So I'm gonna keep moving, see if I can find the other group. There should be one more big group around here somewhere. See if anything's moved in with them. Well, headed back to town. Ended up only seeing those two bulls this morning, and then I found the big one of the big groups of sheep. There was two small rams in there with them, maybe three. Uh, nothing big though. And I gotta head back to town, do that working thing. We're going elk hunting tomorrow, and sheep hunting after that. So sometime I, we haven't set dates yet we're just kind of keeping an eye on things waiting for the big boys to show up i know they're around but it's pretty fun to hunt them when they're rutting so that's kind of our goal to wait till they're really button heads and getting after it and then go shoot a nice big ram so yeah once in a lifetime hunt got to make it a once in a lifetime experience we are gonna be busy just put it that way. It's a Sunday morning, family day, but I am heading out first. Uh, I'm gonna go and put eyeballs on some big horns and see if any of the big boys have showed up yet. This is big horn scouting day seven or eight, I believe, total on the year. So, hopefully with a little luck, they showed up and We'll get Jeff out here maybe as soon as this coming weekend, like a week from today or something. But this tag, for those of you that don't know, is a very, very special tag. Uh, the unit we will be hunting that Jeff drew, he drew one of four tags in the unit. And most people will never have this tag, so. I don't know what the real odds are, but I'm guessing it's like one in every thousand, two thousand people, maybe even one in every five thousand people will have this tag in their lifetime. So it's pretty special and uh, we want to make it a special hunt. We decided to wait and hunt the rut. The season's been open since September 1st, but there's something special about them fighting versus them just being in their summer group. So hopefully it pays off and Jeff gets a good show. It's going to be fun either way. And we're looking forward to it. But first things first, we got to go find that shooter ram. So I'm going to try to do that this morning. There's some shooters around. They just kind of moved off. Oh, after some of the 
hunting pressure right away in the season and we decided to wait and I know they are close by and I'm hoping they hop back in with the herd here very soon if not already so yeah I'll stop jabbing we'll see you out there well Austin just called me and he just woke up he was about to go hop in a tree stand but now he's gonna come with so I got company this morning now so you guys don't just have to look and listen look at me and listen to me because I'm sure you all are sick of that so I'm gonna go pick Austin up and we're gonna get moving and go see what we see this morning stay tuned Well, Austin and I are out looking for sheep. We did just see a decent ram. That one's dad would be good, all right. We'll find that one, so. Decent little start to the morning, though. Saw a nice bull. It was too dark to video him, but there's a bunch of elk crossing the road. Really pretty six point. Of course, we're not elk hunting, so that's the way she goes. But we're gonna go find the big herd and see if any big boys have moved in yet. We'll keep you posted. Just walking this rim and glassing down into the canyon and we had two rams below us one's pretty good the other one's young definitely showing some uh, ruddy signs so that's good but i do know there is a couple bigger ones around so it's a good sign we're just going to try to find the big herd now if we came around the other side we spotted some way across the canyon from another spot this morning, so they were too far to really tell anything. Came over here, get a little closer. Then we can look back across the canyon and see what else we see. Couldn't ask for a really much nicer morning though, that's for sure. This morning was awesome out. We'll let you know what we see.
like that third one that should or that first one that should go. I don't know. It's like me when I show up at camp. <laughs> camp bitch. You just tail him. Tail him along from behind. Sweet. Well, I think we found our boy. That front one was a good one. Actually, three of them are good ones. You can't pass one like that up, that's for sure. But they're definitely thinking about routing their... I don't know where the big herd is. We didn't find them today, but... Gotta be somewhat close by. Gotta be. So it should sure be good. Be. Yeah. Just a few more days and we'll get out here and try to whack one. Oh, yeah. But I suppose we better keep... Uh, Keep the wives happy and get home, huh? I suppose. No matter. We're hiking back to the truck and freaking Mr. Greedy Shed Hound over here just yeah. finds the ultimate shed trophy. Got my participation trophy for the day. <laughs> you don't find those <laughs> very often. That's awesome. Yup. Hey, Jeff. Hey. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. I don't know if you're ready to kill a sheep or not, but I think it's time. We didn't see the big herd today, but we saw seven rams, and one of them is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I can see them. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, we look forward to it, Jeff. I'll uh, stay in touch with you this week. Okay, that sounds great. Cool. Uh, thanks for the call. You betcha. We'll talk to you soon. You bet. All bye. right, bye bye. Good morning, guys. We are headed to sheep camp today. Life is good. I'm going to go top off my truck, meet up with Austin. We're gonna head down and we got a full day of scouting. Jeff's rolling in tonight with his two boys and it should be a great time. I know there's one ram for sure that we would shoot if we see him uh, that Austin and I found here about a week ago, not even a week ago, four days ago. And there's plenty of other good ones around too. So it's gonna be fun look forward to this for quite some time we sure are uh, appreciative of Jeff trusting us with this hunt it's gonna be a, gonna be a fun one just had memories the last few days just sitting there thinking about Marty's sheep hunt from a few years ago and how much fun that was and even if it was a quarter as much fun it'd be epic and I don't know that that's possible so gonna be a good time we'll see you down there and hopefully we can lay eyes on a big boy today stay tuned Well, we're out dinking around looking for a camp spot and we came across three rams, one nice ram, two decent ones in a different spot that we hadn't really been seeing them lately. So, good little backup plan anyhow. I think we maybe figured out where we're gonna go drop the trailer and then we're gonna get to scouting. But not a bad little unexpected start to the day get set up and get to scouting.
we got the extreme two dropped we're just going to throw a few things in here and then go scouting this is going to be sheep camp for the next few days looking forward to it what do you think i'm ready I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Awesome busted out the eye patch. That's when you know shit's for real. There's a mega herd over here. Put a few rams and then another bully ram just showed up. He was chasing at you and then he left her and came over to the big group. Shaking things up and there's a few other ones bedded in a rock pile over here, but we're a little too far away to get a great look at him. There's, I'm guessing, what is the other tag holder? He's up there looking at him as well. So we'll see what transpires here, but they're in the same place Jeremy saw him the other day. They have not moved. We're just sitting here watching we knew the other hunter was on that big herd and he shot one. I don't know how big it is, but good for him. There's no shortage of rams around. So that's good. So we're gonna go up there here in a little bit and see if he needs a hand and put our eyeballs on him. Well, we are just driving in. We're gonna go check out this big horn that this guy just shot. See if he needs a hand. We'll see if he's okay with us video, and if so, we'll show him to you. Well, we just got back to the truck from helping the other hunter, Brock, that shot a nice ram this morning. We kind of watched it go down. It was pretty cool. We didn't actually see him sneaking on it because we didn't realize where he was, but uh, we were watching the herd, and we saw that ram come running in there, and then... He ended up shooting him and he's a very pretty ram just really dark colored dark chocolate super heavy bases cool ram nice guy who's hunting all by himself so it's kind of cool that we could be there to help yeah. him out anyhow take some pictures and once in a lifetime hunt gotta have them pictures you know Heck yeah he shot the biggest ram in the big herd but there's some other good ones around we're gonna try to locate so Hopefully, we can pin something down and I'll shut up now. That's all I got. To my knowledge, he's the biggest one left out here, so I think he'll be our target. Another nice ram taking a nap down here in the shade. But we kind of just disregarded all the other ones because we found the one. We're heading back to the truck. Nice ram. 
I don't think he's quite as big as our other one that we found, but maybe number two on the list for now. But we're gonna go get some, run to town and get some groceries and probably go finish setting up camp and then go uh, scout the last couple hours before dark. It's magic time for sure. Looking forward to tomorrow. We are heading back out. We ran into town, got a few groceries and a bite to eat. And we're heading back out. I'm gonna go probably just watch that ram until dark and uh, see what else we see. But so far, been a good day. Jeff and his boys are on the way out. They won't get here till late tonight, but we'll be hunting in the morning. Austin's lucky eye patch did the trick today. He did. Might have to bust it out tomorrow just for looks. So yeah, I'm just gonna make you wear that all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. If it seals the deal, I'll do it. Perfect. Anything to make it happen, right? That's right. We will uh, show you what we see tonight, and we'll go try to kill something tomorrow. Smash burgers. Yeah, buddy. One of our traditions at camp is smash burgers. And usually Jeremy cooks them. So Austin and I are struggling through it. We're getting it though. But it's going to be fine. They'll probably be better, but his are still going to be better even if these are better. So he cooks that them. That way he makes them. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow, that's going to be hard to bite into. But it's gonna be epic. Which one do you want? I don't care. Me neither. Take your pick. I'm glad with this one. <clears throat> Are you sure? <laughs> Half pound burger between the two of them, more than likely. Oh, at least, yep. It is morning one from sheep camp, and Austin and I are just getting geared up to go. I was gonna show you guys quick what we're wearing. I got the Huntworth base layers. The lightweight pants, um, it is 32 degrees right now and it's supposed to be closer to 60 so I'm just going to layer so I can lose the long johns later still be comfortable. I got a long sleeve t-shirt, then I got a quarter zip um, that I'll wear over top of that. And then this hunting uh, performance hoodie that's pretty slick, it's got zipper pouch here along with a normal hoodie pouch and a built-in face mask which is really handy and then i'm going to wear my mid-weight coat this morning um, i'll probably lose this and maybe switch to my vest 
as soon as it starts warming up a little bit or maybe even just skip the vest today but I'll probably wear the vest for starters anyhow but yeah there you have it these lightweight pants there's basically three versions of them there's camouflage there's the brownish colored ones and then there is the gray ones that I have down here and I believe Austin's gonna wear the gray ones today but here's Austin's lineup pretty much the same setup as me um, but he's got his vest out as well but you getting the coffee made there bud getting some coffee brewed for the morning perfect but yeah lightweight pants long sleeve tee quarter zip hunting hoodie and the vest oh you're not going with the other coat so I guess I'm a wussy Austin's uh, wearing well, significantly less clothes than I am so you know I always dress too warm but that's the beauty of layering is you can always shed a layer and I got plenty of room in my backpack just throw them in there but we're looking forward to today it's gonna be fun uh, there's like 100 sheep in the area we're hunting that we saw yesterday scouting the one big ram that you saw and he's number one on our agenda so we're gonna go see if we can find him this morning and hopefully uh, watch him do his thing for a while and put him down we just met up with Jeff and met him at the highway and we're heading back to camp and we'll chit chat for a little bit make a game plan and get rolling but it's gonna be a fun day so stay tuned the day has come You ready to do this, Jeff? Oh, I'm been waiting, you bet. <laughs> you guys want to introduce yourselves? Dylan Jurgens, Trey Jurgens. And the man. Jeffrey with the Jurgens. It's going to be a fun day, guys. It is. It's going to be. Let's hit her. Just spotted four rams down below us here, and three of them were pretty good. I think that a few of them are the ones bedded on this hill over here yesterday. We never got a great look at, but not the big boy from yesterday. I think we'll keep looking, but they're very good still. So, backup plan. I think we might have found our boy, but he's just a little too far away to know. He's almost identical, if not. There's six rams right here, so I think we'll probably go get up on the hill up above them and get a better look and go from there. We can go get on the ridge above them and look them over good.
is there looking at us. Reload. Reload. 
You smoked him. You smoked him. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That boy. Free hand. You smoked yeah. him. He was just so close. I'm like, I don't know. Uh. That we're going to get much of a rest, but. Oh. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then they keep walking in. Oh, they're so, those two are so similar. It's so hard to tell them apart. Because from the side, the other one looks better. And then as soon as they turn and look at you, you see how much more he yeah. curls, you know, and Heck yeah. just smoked him. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that is awesome. Thought I saw blood right away, too. Yeah, I was sure he was toast, but. I always am like, yeah, if they're still standing, shoot them again, but there was no need there. <laughs> Jeremy was watching from the road with his spotting scope, and he's driving rather fast to get up here, though. But we're going to go check him out. That's the one, right? Flares all a little bit. Yeah, that's him. 100%. Awesome. Wow. What do you think? What Grandpa would have said on this one. <laughs> He's probably watching right now. Yeah. What do you think? It's pretty quite, awesome. Pretty cool ram. Got to watch him for, I don't know, what, an hour or more? Probably an hour yeah, and a half. Probably an hour and a half even, probably. Finally, they decided to move and they walked out, what, about 100 yards. Absolutely pinwheeled him. One shot one. Nice shooting. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jeff. thanks to you guys, too. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for letting us be part of it. What do you guys think? Once in a lifetime. Unreal. Well, we got pretty fortunate where these sheep ended up. They've been hanging in Big Canyon, and from a getting them out of here standpoint, it couldn't have worked out any better. He actually died where they were cutting. There's a road only like 75 yards from there. So we're going to get the Rambo and just, you can legally drive 100 yards off the road. So we're going to drive 75 yards over there and we'll be able to shuttle everything out. We're obviously capable of carrying it, but it's a perfect opportunity to use the Rambo and work smarter, not harder if it's legal, right? So we're going to go do that while Jeremy's caping him and then we'll get to cutting. Well, that's a wrap. Got the hide and the head and a little bit of meat on the Rambo cart. Probably more weight than it's supposed to have on there, but that's okay. Then we'll come back for the rest. Congratulations, Jeff. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to you guys, too. Yeah, you bet. Awesome. Good stuff. It's been fun, but we'll get this meat out of here and maybe uh, go back to camp and have, a have some meat. <laughs> <laughs>
have a little fresh back strap. Well, I got a secret. We know where it's at. We were just testing it. Okay. You left it underneath the carcass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh. we, we put it back there and we're going to test you. Well, that's it from sheep camp. It was a quick trip. Sometimes hunts just go that way. You obviously want them to last, but the way it went down, uh, we found them right away this morning. Uh, we rough scored them at 180 and 6 eighths, which would be all time boon if that stands, if he doesn't dry too much. We just roughed him and did it in the field. So it could be off a little bit, hard to say. Definitely will make boon. Great ram, a lot of good rams this year around. Um, so the future is looking bright. Been a good run this year, and there's still plenty to come. So thanks for watching. Tune in uh, to the rest of our episodes from this season. Hope you've enjoyed this season. We appreciate all of you uh, supporting us, whether it's buying a hat, whatever the case, whatever it might be. Um, we appreciate it more than words describe it makes a lot of this possible so thank you and we'll see you next time